Hello YouTube, this is Chris from Bigger Small Services. Um, this is the book I keep referencing in, in my videos and stuff. Um, Jane Goldman's The X-Files, show created by Chris Carter. Book of the Unexplained, Volume 1, Volume 2. And pick it up at Barnes & Noble, I believe it was $30, $35. Anyway, the whole purpose of this video is... Shed some light on it here. Ronald Reagan was a very, he was very well uh, spoken in the UFOs. Um, he had several encounters. Um, one of them, he was flying here to Bakersfield and he was getting ready to land at the airport. He wasn't very far from the airport. He saw a UFO and he had his uh, pilot take chase. Anyway, it's, like this says here, Ronald Reagan made uh, public uh, declarations of his belief in UFOs. Um, and they were doing a private screening of ET, as you see here, um, and uh, so it wasn't for votes or anything else like that, or to try to trick the American people. This was in a private right White House screening of ET, and listen to what he says. During a private White House screening of ET, President Reagan said to Steven Spielberg, if people only knew how true this really was. Perhaps you have heard this one before. It was. Uh, it has lived for over a decade in glorious neighborhood, in the glorious neighborhood of urban legend, side by side with tales of prosecuted babysitters, microwave poodles, film stars with gerbils lodged in inconvenient places. The difference, however, is that for the first time, we can reveal the Spielberg Reagan story is absolutely unquestionably true. Uh, it is reprinted here with permission from Spielberg's representative. See, so they got the, that's what I'm saying. This book is, is, is got facts in it. Uh, the person that wrote this book, Jane Goldman, she did her homework. Um, and, uh, it, it's, it's the true stories that the X-Files are based on. Okay. Um, and then you get some stuff that's like this, but this ties in with the X-Files anyway. Um, who is also kind enough to provide us with the correct wording of the president's comments. In some versions of the story, he has reported the saying that only about six people in this room who know how true this is. Whether or not Reagan knew some great truth, he was certainly not afraid uh, to have his name likened to the concept of extraterrestrial intelligence. He publicly re recounted two personal UFO sightings, and on three separate occasions made public speculations on how a threat from outer space would have uh, unified all nations. Both the Soviet president, uh, both Soviet president Go uh, Go uh, Gorbachev and the foreign minister Edvid, I can't pronounce his name, uh, made it known they shared his feelings. This could have been merely... Uh, an eccentric and rather effective hypothetical statement on how to uh, unity is possible, but some uh, some are convinced. But see, that's the thing. He said this over here in private, so it wasn't um, it wasn't that. So, uh, but in some but some are convinced it was an attempt to hand us a morsel of information or at least to soften us up for the day when the truth would finally be revealed. There are degrees of beliefs the U.S. government is more interested in the UFOs than they make out. Uh, they know who is behind the unidentified craft, which seem to dot our skies. They possess craft recovered in crashes. They have alien bodies. They have communicated with lives, live aliens. They have... Uh, probably going to murder this word, lazy with them and made deals uh made deals there are aliens uh earth a base bases on earth it's all over bar the shouting but no no matter which end of the spectrum a believer occupies there is one common certainty the government is hiding something so anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna in that there i'm gonna keep the video short but as you see um you know it, he was in public or private you know, with 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 Steven Spielberg and um, uh, just a handful of people in a private White House screening. So he wasn't nowhere near in public around public people um, other than like Spielberg and stuff like that. Uh, and then he had to uh, Jane Goldman had to get permission to even use that in her book. 
um, or she would get in trouble. Okay, it's not just some average person she's messing with. She's messing with a, 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 an ex-president. She's messing with the government, you know, uh, on stuff we know they're hiding. About UFO, UFOs, aliens, alien technology, so on and so on. So anyway, um, again, I do recommend this book, Jane Goldman, The X-Files, Book of the Unexplained, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Um I, like I said, I got mine at Barnes & Noble for like 30 Actually, let's see how much did I pay for it. Um, $28.97 is what I paid for it. And I bought this a while back. See, I bought it in 2013. And the X-Files Book of the Unexplained. So there you go, guys. You can see how much I paid for it. And it was at Barnes & Noble, like I told you. Uh, it was pretty close. It was almost 30 bucks. Anyway, I do recommend picking that up. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my channel. Feel free to use all my um, uh, links in the description box, or not the description box, the About Me section. Uh, I, the the offer is still open if you're a whistleblower and, and, and you want to have me interview you and you can prove it that you're a whistleblower um, or you, you're, you've had UFO uh, sightings or alien abductions, that, any kind of paranormal stories that's happened to you, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to private message me, you can private message me and um, we can go from there. Anyway, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.